Hey everybody, thanks for joining. My name is EJ Quanabens. I do appreciate you uh, stopping by and taking time out of your busy day to, to view this video and other videos that I've posted. If you haven't already done so, feel free to subscribe to the videos and share with your contacts. That would be most appreciated. Today, I want to speak a little bit about uh, a symbolic item called uh, the eagle feather and how it's viewed across indigenous uh, territories. And But before I get into that, I want to be able to just share that Although I am from a small northern First Nation community called White San, otherwise known as Wabidanga, we are known as the Northern Woodland Anishinaabe people on the northwest region of Lake Nipigon. And it happens to fall under the, the traditional territory of the Robinson Superior 1850 Treaty Territory. And so I wanted to be able to share that context because it, it gives you um, a, a geographical regional look into some of the teachings that, that I speak about um, and that we have to be very careful of, of, of as myself as an educator uh, and also others from other nations, um, other elders and knowledge keepers and, and educators that we, we have to make sure that our conversations uh, are not speaking on behalf of the entire Indigenous community as a collective because our communities are extremely diverse uh, and there are so many different nations and so many different ways of knowing and being within these nations that we have to be just mindful of how we communicate our information out there because at the end of the day I definitely do not want to share something that is going to be viewed as a teaching that perhaps is relative to those people of the West Coast or the East Coast or the North or the South. And so I always make sure that any of my conversations, any of my teachings that I share, that they are teachings from the region of which I come from. Now, although I live in Toronto, this is a territory that is not my territory and so I have to be mindful of my interactions in this territory because it is not mine and out of respect for the people who call this home traditionally it's important that that I am mindful of that and I know my place so saying that um, I will speak about the teachings of the Northern Woodland Anishinaabe Territory and some of the teachings that I will share in this video and other videos uh, some of our nations will have similar teachings in that regard and there might be some slightly different uh, uh, variances to these teachings and I always encourage everybody to have conversation with your local elders and knowledge keepers and educators because making those connections with your your people of your territory is really really important and uh, it helps shape and identify the kind of person who you are or perhaps who you want to be uh, so i just wanted to share that a little bit uh, today i want to talk a little bit about uh, the eagle feather I'm going to use this particular eagle feather uh, in this conversation. This particular feather has a great deal of significance. This was a feather that um, was a part of my uh, men's traditional outfit, my men's traditional bustle years ago. And, and in retiring that bustle, it's an item that is used as a men's traditional dancer that we wear in the back of our uh, lower back when we dance. But in, in retiring it, there were a number of feathers that were uh, gifted to many different people uh, from many different directions. And the one feather that I did keep is this one. And this particular feather was, was uh, dressed, we call it dressing up a feather, um, by my mother in my colors turquoise red yellow and white and these particular colors which i could speak about in another video have and hold specific meaning to them but today we're here to talk about the eagle feather 
And if you notice, the eagle feather obviously has a, a spine on it, and it has the different parts of the eagle feather going from the base to the top. And in this particular feather, it was used as an introductory feather to our ceremonial circles. You see, back in the early 90s when we had the launching of the Indian Residential School Legacy, um, I think it has gone through many different names since then, but essentially it was one of the first, actually it was the first meaning that they had in a lodge in the North Vancouver Squamish First Nation on the east coast of British Columbia. And there we were invited, my mother, myself, my stepfather, and, and we were asked to have a conversation in that lodge. And it was considered to be the most respectful honor that we were given because we were not from that territory. And so to be asked to speak about an issue um, and to sing our traditional uh, drum in that lodge was, was very important to us. And it was an honor. This particular feather was used to introduce itself in that lodge. And it was held by many of the residential school survivors. And to this day, after all these years, it has been held by many residential school survivors who had shared their stories and their experiences, their heartaches, their pains, had shed many tears and it also has, has, has given a lot of happiness. A lot of happiness has gone into this feather as well. And so talking about an eagle feather means, one, when one receives it, it's of great significance that represents honor, that in, at some point in some shape or form, the individual who is the carrier of the feather had performed or had completed or had done something of significance that was recognized by the community and they were given an honor of an eagle feather and this mindset and this practice continues to this day one of the teachings I received about an eagle feather is the spine years ago as a little boy at around seven or eight years old I was taught the significance of the eagle feather and what it represents. You see, each individual will journey in life and will experience many different experiences and uh, both good and bad, negative and positive. And the eagle feather represents that. You see, the spine represents in a philosophy we have in our culture, in the majority of the First Nation cultures, uh, in, in a number of the belief systems that, that, that we hold is this philosophy of the Red Road. I'll speak about that in another video, but in short, the Red Road is how we are supposed to conduct ourselves in daily life. That we live a balanced life as best as we possibly can. Now, I'm not saying that we have to live a perfect life, but we have to try to create a balanced life. Because without balance, we have our, our, our sense of being is off kilter. Meaning that as we walk in life and walking on the red road, we have experiences. And that experience, for example, this one here might represent adolescence and the challenges that go with adolescence and all that happens during adolescence, the actions and the behaviors and the experiences that an adolescent will, will go through, perhaps this is what that, that journey and that experience represents. As we continue in life, we perhaps might have a difficulty. Maybe that difficulty is a loss of a loved one. Death, loss of life and grieving. And it can be a very difficult process. And, but this eagle feather represents that experience. Perhaps identity is an issue that someone is struggling with. And they go through life 
struggling and, and, and living a life that perhaps has created an imbalance in their life, perhaps drinking and drugging, uh, perhaps uh, life on the street and homelessness, uh, addictions, um, domestic violence, or whatever the case might be in life. This is an individual experience that people will have. And at some point, when we look at the eagle feather, it, it teaches us that experiences are intended to be lived and experienced. And at the end of the experience, it is hoped and believed that a lesson will be learned, be it positive or negative. It is a negative experience that perhaps one will experience that you correct the behavior, identify that it is a part of who you are without beating yourself up while coming back to the center and walking and continuing to walk your journey on that red road. Life presents many challenges. Life presents wonderful experiences and an eagle feather represents that. And saying that, as we walk on the red road until we get to the end of our road, that is where our life is complete, where we get to meet our Creator, and hoping that we've made amends with any of the negatives that, that we've experienced along the way, and that our heart is pure with honesty, integrity, humility, love. And so the eagle feather is that representation of that. And I mean, I could talk for days on the teaching of the eagle feather, but I have only a short period of time to do so. And so I want you to be able to be, to be, to leave today, today's video with an understanding that whatever life experience that you're going through, the creator has a plan for you. It is intended for you to learn the lesson while returning back to the center of your life, your core, to continue to walk the red road in the most impeccable, honest, truthful, respectful way that you possibly can without experiencing or without placing the expectation of pure perfection. Because the only time that perfection exists is when you take your last breath and you are sitting with your Creator. So I want to leave you with that um, and, and be able to share with your contacts. I would love to hear your feedback. I would love to hear the various different teachings that exist for the Eagle Feather. Um, share your comments um, and perhaps we could have a conversation of these comments moving forward. Other videos will be talking about clan systems, ceremonial items, uh, ways of how we interact with one another, um, the self as a, as a walking embodiment of what some people refer to as a medicine wheel. Let's have a conversation about medicine wheel and the different circular modalities that go along with the, that particular teaching. I, I urge you to, to, to leave your comments and to share some of your comments and some of the teachings that you would like to learn. And if I happen to know them, I will share them with you. And if I don't, I'll be able to direct you to people who, who would have the information and the knowledge to, to help you along your journey. Miigwech, and thank you so much for, for, for sitting in and listening, and uh, we'll be in touch. Miigwech.